All right, let me show you how I set up a rolling machine to work with the ME network here. See, this is the rolling machine. On top, I have a ME interface connected to it. If you look inside the ME interface here, I put a ME encoded assembler pattern. You can see right now, this has it set up with the recipe to make an iridium alloy ingot. If you look in the machine here, the rolling machine, you have to uh, put these items here just as a placeholder, just enough to make one. You can see uh, I have all the right uh, ingredients to make the iridium alloy ingot. On the side here is just the ME import bus. It has no filter on it, so it'll uh, import any uh, any output that uh, the machine puts out and import them into the network. Unfortunately, since you have to set each of these rolling machines up with the item that you want to craft, if you want to craft more than one kind of item, you're going to have to set up a separate rolling machine with a separate recipe. You can see here I have it set up to make metal posts. And then in the rolling machine itself, I have the ingredients to make the metal posts. So unfortunately, you have to have a rolling machine for each kind of item that you want to automate. For instance, this one here is just making uh, nichrome heating coils. And it has the nichrome the sand brick pattern and the processing slot on the ME interface on here, too. Oh, let me show you how it crafts. This is just the wireless uh, access terminal. Search Iridium here. Make one, craft it. You can see it sends the items into the, the rolling machine and it just makes it. Uh, the alloy ingot sends it into uh, the network. Well, since I show you how to make the iridium alloy ingots here, I'll show you how to uh, automate the complosion impressor. This is just my uh, Greg Tech automated stuff. It's just uh, these are grinders, and this is the industrial blast furnace, and these are electrolyzers here. This is the, uh, the implosion compressor. This is just the casings you need for it. And this is the actual machine itself. On the top, I have a. Uh, it's raining. That sucks. On top, I have an ME interface. Same thing. I have a recipe for the iridium plate here in the processing slot. This is an item test rack to automatically craft industrial TNT. Uh, show you this here. I'll take this off. See, that's the ITNT face. That's uh, that's the side where you put in uh, the industrial TNT. So this test rack will take uh, the ITNT that I craft in the network and it'll load it into this implosion compressor. You see, I take it out. It'll load it right up. Um, this side, I just have a uh, glass fiber cable to the power down there. This is just construction foam to hide the wiring. These things are facades, which hide the uh, ME wiring. You can see, if you look on my upper right-hand corner, It'll tell you what this uh, block actually is. It's an ME import bus. There's no filter on it. It just will pull anything that's made right out of uh, the machine. This will show you how to make the I'll show you how to craft. See these iridium plates? Hit if I hit craft. Let's see I already made it. it. It sends it in automatically. I'll make another one. I'll make a few actually.
You'd see it. It'll send them in. Yeah, it's too fast, you would see. But that's how you do that. I hope this helped you uh, figure out how to set up your system and do the same thing. Enjoy.